Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome back to the Wales campaign for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. In this part we will hopefully take Cardiff, or we should take Cardiff as a matter of fact. We have some money left over, we have lots and lots of bows and Merinoid spearmen. We have one unit of Welsh spearmen as well. And we have our general Maerdi, or Maerdi attacking Cardiff. Will, we are building we some rams, so we'll maintain the siege we for now. In this siege, sire. They don't have much. They have lots of bows, longbowmen, but not much else apart from that. So we should be able to take Cardiff relatively easily. Meanwhile, in the rest of my kingdom, in the realm, I have lots and lots of units in my fort, which I can probably move up the fort now. We'll leave the two Scythian bowmen, I think, because they are free upkeep anyway. We're going to move the rest out, and they're going to go south to reinforce Gloucestershire. Shrewsbury, I'm going to have to be wary. I might actually t move these to Shrewsbury unless Montgomery supports Shrewsbury, because there's a large army here. Anselm of Bapton, Big Bap, might be on his way, so we have to, we're going to have to be wary of that. Of course, England are blockading our port, but we're not trading with anybody, so I'm not too worried at the moment, although that could cause me problems in the future. Free upkeep on the Welsh militiamen there. Sire. Captain Tiernan is on his way down to Shrewsbury as well, we so that's going to help out. Today, My spy to can Approaching go across the way. land, maybe... Have a look what what we have. We have a Act merchant who can Journey go south for me, find out what's going on, on down way. there. And then we have my diplomat Sire. Madog who's on his way to Scotland to try and get some trade there as well. Chester was taken as well, so we've done a very good job there. My prince, Prince David. And I think we're at the end of turn phase now, so we can probably just click end turn and see what happens. So we've played five turns. This is come up with turn six. There we go. I turn away a candidate for adoption. Benefactor, King Llewellyn, the Honourable. Uh, Meal Ear, my the 26 years of age. He's an alcoholic. Oh my. Mixed loyalties. That might be a problem. He's going to be sent straight into the vanguard in that case. <laughs> Just going to throw him in head first, I think. And like, oh my god, Gloucester's got lots of men here. Yeah. Uh, where he is. Command okay. Me, sire. Uh, this guy is going to lead my troops in the fort in that case because I don't trust him <laughs> to throw him away. Um, we've recruited in Gloucester as well and we've retrained in Gloucester. So Gloucester's looking very good. Don't want to stay here too long if I can help it. Any more troops can be retrained would be great. Oh, we are quite a few of them as well. And we can actually recruit some new units. So what are we short on? Got some infantry, got spearmen, some Gwent raiders as well. Could do with one or maybe two more bow units. Um, or English billmen. We could get an English billmen unit. They are quite quite heavy. So, yes, they are effective against armour. They might be a good choice. We haven't got one, so... Or we can go for the extra 100 florins and get the heavy billmen. Or they could do quite a lot of damage, couldn't they? We might actually take one of them. Actually, no. We're going to retrain, as a matter of fact. Retrain one unit, because I need to I need to look after my money. The thing is, we're going to be in a lot of debt pretty soon, so I need to start winning more battles and being very quick and aggressive. As you can see, we have a prof profit of minus three, 3,000, so we need to be very, very quick indeed. Yeah, this is going to cause us problems otherwise. So this is the thing with Wales, once you start taking the border settlements, more units sprout out and help you out and what happens there is that you end up having a lot and lot of income to try and pay off basically so of course you'll have to spend all of it so i'm not even doing that so we don't need to worry about that we will try and get some trade that's going to be the first thing and then of course we will try and work out what might be best for for our policies but for now i think we can just probably crack on with the campaign so this guy is actually Oh, right. Captain Stephen with one unit. You are not my lead. I have two bow units. I can probably take him out with two bows. Oh, they have cavalry, though, so probably best not to. Um, Chester has a full stack, doesn't it? Whoops. Wrong button. Army. Yeah, sorry. Chester's fine to be left on its own. Anselm of Bapton has lots of... Oh, my. He has heavy billmen. He could cause us a few headaches. 
Okay, these guys are doing no good sitting in the fort. They must be used and utilised. And I see a nice prize over there in Nottingham. I wish to take Nottingham. So let's go to Nottingham with this army. Merely it remind thee, you will be used to take Nottingham. And you might even engage Anselm of Bapton in battle. But Nottingham is the prize. Henceforth, I'll take it. Now, Gloucester. Don't want to leave. I could leave Gloucester now. And go for Shaftesbury. I don't want to leave Gloucester completely undefended, so what we will do is we will split our troops. Now, Llewellyn is going to be leading the charge with Kedifor, and Edwin can stay behind. We'll take the knights, the bows, one of the blisters, and we are going to take two units of spearmen, the Gwent Raiders, and the bows. That should be enough. We leave in one, two... Three, four units behind in Gloucester is fine. I'm happy enough to do that. And King Llewellyn's come out in battle. He's going to take Shaftesbury. He's going to take Shaftesbury and he's going to go down the south along here and take whatever's here. I think there's two. I think there's one round here and I think there's one down there. So we'll take them with Llewellyn and that will be the south under our control. Melia is going to take Nottingham. Get there in two turns. Unless, of course, he engages Anselm of Bapton in battle. Shrewsbury is going to have to just stay like it is for now. Rodri and his very few units although saying that they are full units but i don't like to leave generals in these settlements for too long so we're gonna have to be quite weary of this montgomery can you recruit anything oh we got some catapults we might need some catapults actually so people i don't really need to recruit too much at the moment i don't think pembroke oh my pembroke 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 great raiders wasted sitting there need to get you in battle join my v and we're going to have a battle now. Let's take Cardiff. Your Let's take Cardiff to assault. We will assault Cardiff. And we are going to fight them on the battlefield. Time to reclaim the capital for the Welsh. Battle. Yes, this is going to be interesting. We have been besieging them for quite a while now. It's been a good few turns. I think we did relinquish our siege and then decided to attack again. So let's start deployment. We do have one battering ram so the problem i'm gonna have is if i do get shot to pieces before we get to the wall so we're just gonna yes as i can see as you can see that will cause me some headaches indeed so what we will do is get our bows into position one can attack the longbowman there and one can attack the longbowman there and hopefully we won't lose too many men we are losing some we've lost but oh my god we've lost lots of men this is not good Oh, I should have auto-resolved this one, guys. <laughs> is it too late for an auto-resolve? I think it is. Of course, we can get another unit to take over. The Gwent Raiders, they sh... Oh, I don't know if they will hold, actually. The Spearmen I should have used because they are... They are, um... Mercenaries, so they should be fine. I'm actually going to move my bodyguard unit back. And my spearman back. There we go. That's we are getting some shots away. We are getting some kills, I think. And we are at the gates. Oh, they've come out to charge. Drop the ram and charge them. I'm actually going to send some troops in to reinforce. Gates are open. Get in there, lads. Get in there. It was unexpected indeed. <laughs> One unit of spearmen. They're running away. Coward. 25 spearmen against 30. Oh, we, it's not good against spearmen. This isn't, though. Great Raiders. Balance of force is even. 29 against 23. And we are suppressing with our arrows while we send everything else in. We're just going to try and barge our way in now. General can stay back. He's happy enough there watching from afar. Surely we're going to do lots of damage with our, with our bow units. And there we go, we now got the spearmen in as well. We're gonna charge in through the gates. Once we get in, we will, of course, get rid of the longbowmen up the walls. That will be the aim. And we have lost some of our bow units, but I think we are okay. We have lost too many. A handful at least. Our men are winning the battle. I think. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. There we go. Let's bring our men in now. Charge. We may have to knock the gate down, that's the only problem. I'm actually going to tell Gwent Raiders to Our soldiers have grab their worth today. 
The enemy's wolves oh, don't to need to. Now. Don't need to, don't worry. Okay, Gwent Raiders. Smash the longbowmen. One of these spearmen troops. Smash the other ones. And then the other two charge the armoured sergeants. There we go. Plan in place. Plan in motion. And my cavalry is just wasted back here as well, so let's charge him in as well. Oh, don't get caught on that ram. It appears that some of my units are getting caught, which is a big bad thing indeed. No, don't get caught. Come on, get the towers. Okay, we're just going to try and capture this center I think there are some long bowmen here which we can take out the rest of these units it seems they all are charging in right now <laughs> completely ignoring my movement orders it doesn't matter we're actually up on the walls we have taken the walls and my general you can, you can join in give a rallying cry just keep routing them all just kill them all it's usually a good plan the battle is very much in our favor if we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Longbowmen can just not stop firing now because they will, of course, shoot my own men. I don't want that to happen. Are we doing well? We are killing lots and lots of men. Doing fairly well in this battle. It's been a little bit sloppy in some, some regards, but we are getting the job done. That is the main thing, of course. Yep. This is definitely the main thing. As we watch the men get absolutely slaughtered. There is the general. The beast from Wales. Charging in. Oh, look at that. Routes all around. 29, 28 men remaining. Doing a fantastic job. With that horn going. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. The plan is to kill them all, of course. We are Welsh. We will kill all the English. Or die trying. And the spearmen are getting in now as well. Against the longbowmen. I think that's all they have, is it? They do have armoured sergeants, but they're just sitting there. Chilling out. Don't really want to get engaged in this battle, do they? I hope they are now. I think they might be charging us. Don't know. The general wants to get involved as well, though. He's going to charge in. I'm just going to fast forward this because it'll be... Good tidings. Boring. The enemy general lies dead. General is dead. The base to hell. hell yeah. That's what we're talking about. Captain Nigel is no more. My lord, our men are in command of the city. Super fast forward. We'll kill them all. Doing very well at the this moment. Is a clear victory. There the we go. Victory. Great virtue and valor. So we won. That is the main thing. It's what we set out to do. And we have taken Cardiff. Cardiff is ours. Cardiff reclaiming the capital. And we will, of course, occupy because there's a big Welsh population in this settlement. Peacefully occupy. And they have routed. And his trade increase. He is fair in rule. He gets plus one chivalry for that victory. Excellent. So hopefully our finances will have gone up now with that victory. Nice little victory for us indeed. Captain Alfonso. You are not my we will probably have I to take you out at some point. Dwelling will see to that though. Of course we can get some recruits. I don't need them though. I may actually oh sugar. I may actually disband my king. this unit, I think. We don't need them really. We want that money, don't we? So I don't want to be relying on mercenaries too much and I will disband units if and when required I think that's a good policy to have in place Carnarvon I think these units are wasted sitting here as well so we'll take these units out of Carnarvon they can go to the fort for now Carnarvon is fairly happy without me there anyway and if need be I'll just recruit a unit of peasants or something to take things over then I have all these units in the fort which can be used then to help Chester but we won't do that this turn we'll do that in the next turn because they'll have all their movement points to leave out or to move out sorry as one force full stack in Chester I do have some mercenaries here as well but I'll keep them because I can throw them away in the next battle that'll be the plan and we have 
I'm just going to sit, actually, I'm just going to sit in a defensive position near Chester. If they attack, they can reinforce, and it'll be good for me. Of course, I could skip around and try and take Lancaster, but I doubt I'll be able to do that with two units, although it would cause them headaches, of course, so we might try that. But I think we will end this episode here. So in this episode, we've set in motion some of our plans for the next part, and we have taken Cardiff. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.